everyone, welcome back to Ruby Volume 9! We are now going into Episode 3! Uh, in the last episode, we actually had a decent time! I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah it was really good! Yeah. Uh, it, it, it had its wonkiness, it was a little uneven, mm -hmm. and frankly, when taken into context of the rest of the series, it's a little bit... You know, it's a lot of ah, questionable. There, there's We've a seen lot. Less. <laughs> yeah. We have, we have. At the very worse. least, the episode <clears throat> on its stone was relatively entertaining. Yeah, so, I enjoyed yeah, it. The, probably the earliest we've ever gotten the really, really good scene. Yeah. Yeah. And all that means is that they might just drop another one on us. Possibly. <laughs> or it's downhill all the way from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we've also experienced that down. too. <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, Oscar shows up. It's going to be great. No! <laughs> well, let's I find thought out. I deleted him successfully. <laughs> Fixing Ruby is not powerful enough. Okay, <laughs> let's jump into this. Here All we right. go. Three, two, one, go. Do we know what this episode's called? Uh, Ruby. Uh, no, Ruby. No, I haven't paid Ruby. attention to the episode titles. Ruby doobity. Ruby doobity. Oh, that's right. Ruby doobity do. Yeah. Uh, How do I forget they have an opening every single time? It's growing on me. I, I, I yeah, I still really enjoy. Oh, my it. mic is peaking. I'm sorry. <gasps> uh, I think it's called Ruby Volume Nine, Episode Three: Release Dates and Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> speaking, speaking of spoilers, actually, like even I had to avoid spoilers on Twitter this time. Like there was a oh, lot wow. of post on Twitter about this really? episode. So uh, interesting. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. glad we decided not to do it on Sunday then, because like I literally just got up, so I haven't seen anything. Uh, yeah, well, I, when oh. I went to go look for it, I, I go on, um, you know, um, perfectly legal content generation website, um, and uh, like pretty much every post was like spoiler tagged, like all the way down. Oh, that green man when they're walking past the market is the penny thing that they got. Ah, yeah, mm. interesting. R rude, red, and royal. By the way, rude, oh, okay. red, and royal. Gotcha. Yeah, there's a alliteration in all of the um, titles yeah. so far. Ah, it makes sense. Yeah. Are we sure we should do this? Well, the red no. can help Alex. We are. No, summon of the king. Hey, look butterfly. At the butterfly. Butterfly. <laughs> butterfly. That is That's a cool looking castle. Yeah. And Weiss is still goofy as shit. Yeah, Weiss, stop being Nora. Yeah. <laughs> or keep being Nora. Right. One of the chances Nora's that great. the trumpets are also guns. Um, it's uh, 75%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this they're, little they're axes, axes. So, they're, they're you know, they could, have, they could have guns in there, too. You're the Red King. How dare Ruby, you? why would they... <laughs> It's like metal hands. Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh, you put your mouths on that? What? Happy birthday, your majesty. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. They're going to get. Head. Yes, yes, a joyous occasion. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Much. Red Prince? He will be burned later. Yeah. Well, if it hadn't been for your kind, the king would still be here. Oh. oh, okay. 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 Alright. Happy birthday, your majesty. So... It, it's nice that they, like, suddenly learned how to do exposition without, mm. like, just dumping it. it. What? I like them. You okay? literally just told us. Also, we saw advertisements for your party. Everywhere. Oh god. Okay, look, we need some princess versus prince shit going on here. <laughs> Guys, I never thought I'd say this, but I miss Whitley. Stop painting oh, on a short king. <laughs> don't highlight on that. <laughs> Very rare, the weapon of the greatest warrior to ever live. Acquired by us and only us with no help at all. But we're the ones who gave it to you. No, let them take their <laughs> credit. Just, just, just give it to right. just They're going to get them. beheaded just if, if they them. don't. Just give <laughs> i got to test the sword somehow. Yeah, I was going to say, confirm he likes it then. Yeah. Why? 
Yes. Is it green? What's up? Okay. Uh. You, he doesn't know! <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. He does, it doesn't have the same sentimental value <laughs> that you do. Alright, well, yeah, yeah, off with their heads. Off with their yeah. heads. Yeah. Off to- oh! <laughs> well, that was fast. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. Damn. I was gonna say, off to the head, not off with their heads, but both. <laughs> I mean, both. I'm sorry, I misspoke a little there. Yeah. Beheading people does cheer me up, but go on. We heard you like to play games. Now that's privileged information. <laughs> mm. Oh, welcome to oh. the Tilted Towers, yeah. Ruby. Oh, this is, actually, this is a cool shot. I like this. We're going for a 100% victory, Roya. <laughs> this uh, is oh an God, interesting this... design. Wow, this is trippy. Why didn't they have this, this in the mm. intro? Was it in the intro? Yeah, yeah, really. I remember. I that. like it. Yeah. M m move along home, anyone? So, <laughs> move along home? I know, fly away home. For playing my game. <laughs> for Majesty, you are as wise as you are. Uh, oh. Nailed it. <laughs> Never mind, I just face palm for nothing. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I, and I really hate how much I've come to love little. designs better. <laughs> What's the catch? It's chess. <laughs> oh, oh, he's so coughing, coughing up, up wood, wood. That's great. Oh, that's great. Ah. Uh. Whoever oh. gets the most pawns to the other side of the board wins. A rule three. <laughs> to take over a space, you must dispose of whoever occupies it. Dispose of? It's... Wizard's chess. It's chess, yeah. Mm. Actually, it's like chess mixed with go, sort of. Oh, wow, yeah. you're... Oh. Okay. You're... Your guys are a bit. Um, I think I'm missing some pieces. Little, you're up. Mm. You, you say that. Perfect that you brought along friends to play then. Exactly. Yep. Oh, oh shit. Oh god, this is move along home. <laughs> I was gonna say I've seen like promo images that show this kind of stuff. Now yeah, we yeah. play a fun game of is this magic oh, or wait, is this <laughs> dust? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, they got squeaky voices. It's so cute. <laughs> Yang just punched yourself. Yeah, look at these freaks. Face. I guess these are our teammates. No one's going. I think they just uh, <laughs> just fucked up. I mean, welcome to Queen's Gambit. As I am a great ruler, the white team may go first. Oh no! He always goes first. No, in chess you don't want to go first. <laughs> yeah, going first actually sucks. But. Ooh, I liked that. Good shit. Okay, I, I forgot. Did she have a chair? Okay, good. All right. Yeah. I like this table. I want this for my D and D campaigns. Yeah. <laughs> no, little, get off the board, quick. Can you one space forward, please? Tuesday again, huh? <laughs> oh. Just, just use Yang the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get a blanket. Get a blanket. <laughs> that would that, be funny. They had like, <laughs> the, like silvery blankets. Wait, wait, wait! I thought you can only say one at a time. Could you just summon a bunch of monsters all in one turn? <laughs> <laughs> well, like they said, you can, move, money. you can move any of them and in them at like one space or something like that. Oh, okay. Hey, that was more than music. One space wise. Wow. That. 
beginner's luck. I, I actually, I kind of like this. <laughs> yeah. Leaves. <laughs> oh shit. Tell me, Yang, you're up. All over it. I don't understand. How this, you, you can move one space. More that's... than one space. Yeah. Yeah. That is more I, than one space. I hope I that need, comes I need up to later. What the rules were. But it was something like you can move any number of them like yeah, once or something. You can move every pawn one space each turn. How do you know this? Well, it worked for someone we know. Uh, Blake. Don't claim you know her. Yeah, you did. You've never met yeah, her. Very true. <sighs> I just realized this is, the, this is like I don't know the first full. Wait, I thought the ribbon was broken. Yep. Uh, yeah. Because like we and, had the Jabberwocker, but not really. That, that wasn't, yeah. I, I thought her ribbon was broken. Uh, yeah, it hey, burned, hey, didn't it? Us? What do you want us to do? Huh? Die. Just, just <laughs> uh, uh, just go, I guess. <laughs> no, have them wait until Yang and... <laughs> That's oh, all yeah, I, I guess just warn him. <laughs> Screw it, the yeah. rules, I have money, right? <laughs> He's the king of Fae. That's, that absolutely applies. Yeah. The Prince of Faye. Right, oh my god, this guy is Salem from A Bridge Sort of. <laughs> Just wants to win at Monopoly even though they don't know how to play. Big mice. Little's a mouse. At least oh. I think. Sure. And the rest of us are. <laughs> sure, I don't know. That's adorable. Oh! Uh-oh. You said the H word. Uh-oh. Oh no, we're racist against those! <laughs> Blake's like, wow, I, I oh. really- oh, I'm, I'm just having a wonderful time. You must have it. Also, that cracked effect looks good. <laughs> She's- I, I, it, The detail there uh, with why he's using wait. her glyphs is great. Yeah, it, is it important that um, his the inside of his cracked Ooh, porcelain okay, is okay. green? Oh, all right, okay. You know, uh, uh, Ruby yeah, has this music is again. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't help but think of that one. Oh, uh, what song is that? With the, the the cats and the the dogs. lone lone di lone digger by um yeah. by Caravan Palace. Baby, can you move around the rhythm so we can't get with into the round and get us a rock and roll round? And she just kept dancing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the ribbon is oh the ribbon is broken. Okay. Fat man's furry knowledge is just like an encyclopedia. Un it's just like their unmatched NASA unmatched. computer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> this is good. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted last episode when I said like we need to inject some hope and some feel good like vibes back into the show. Yeah. You say, oh my god, they're 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 the worst point in the fight. Well, yeah, but this is fun. <laughs> Yeah. Ruby, you're giant. Just sweep him out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Ruby, have you considered shooting him? <laughs> With what? She, she doesn't ever. She's... <laughs> oh, oh, uh. okay. Oh, all, right. Cool. all right, all right. Whoa! What? <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> she, she finally uses <laughs> the Nevermore from Volume One. <laughs> 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 okay. Wait a minute. Wait, oh, what? this is fun. This is this good. Is whole, okay. This is awesome. Uh, yeah. Yay, we get the good fight animation back. Because <laughs> volume 8 was not good. <laughs> Damn, why don't we always give Yang a big sword? Oh! Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck the rest of you. <laughs> Or at least make him big again. <laughs> you must be so distraught. Hi. Unable to do the one uh, thing you were put on this acre to do. I understand. Oh, they're called acres. Okay. Don't want to behead them. 
They are the uh, we're we're in America here. They should be called football fields. <laughs> <laughs> How many hamburgers is that? Pop. So if he gets too angry, he will literally crack. Uh, I mean, that's that's what the Catman said. Why don't you start petting a little? You're like the right size to be like really soft and fluffy. <laughs> Today. What about my friends? They're still tiny, and he promised he would. Except for little, they're right about the same. <laughs> Are they gonna be small for the rest of this season? <laughs> that would be amazing. Well, that oh, I would complain. <laughs> Whoa, Inception. Oh, Whoa. Okay, yeah, here we go, MC Escher. Oh, this oh. is so cool. This is actually pretty awesome, yeah. Damn, I'm upset that I have to bounce early, because I'd love to talk about this. Ha, huh, I lied. It was the incinerator. <laughs> <laughs> Easiest <laughs> the trick in the book. <laughs> the Gladys cat. But thank you for saving us. Good thing I saving you? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Now you pay me back with the little mouse. With the mouse. But he wasn't there. The pet, pet little. Be cute. <laughs> I want, I want little to hug Weiss, just like being very big. Yes, I would like that too. And so do we when it's our time to change. Don't you? What? What, uh, that oh wasn't god, the light question. was actually approaching. I gotta listen to that line again, because I did like it, but I need to listen to it again. Times change? When, when Times what? change when we need to change, don't you? Yeah. I like that line. Oh, uh, it's close enough. What did you need to talk to the king about, and what is your favorite dessert? What about... Others. What's the deal with this cat? Can't ADHD. So the cat, the cat was the butterfly. <laughs> she <laughs> is pretty little. <laughs> when Alex was lost, she met the curious cat who loved to ask questions. And the curious cat helped Alex find the tree. I would not be upset if they take little little back with them. <laughs> no, I actually I actually hope little's here to the end now. <laughs> I'm sure they're probably gonna stay, but it'd be so cool. The first character since Maria that I oh, wholeheartedly enjoyed. Oh, that enjoyed. walk animation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, are like we detaching POV? I like that bridge. Oh, Jabberwalker. Oh. Uh, oh. Razor um, sharp grass. What is it? Oh, you know, it's bleeding. It was injured. Oh, the fuck was that? Oh, uh, was Dinosaurs. that John? Or was that Neo? No, oh, okay, that was Neo. Oh, Neo. That was Neo. Well, there goes my, uh, my sussy imposter theory. <laughs> uh. Why did you turn into Ruby? Because, I I mean, wouldn't you? Send her. Okay, maybe she can't control it. Maybe it's going oh. wacky here. Oh. The fuck? What the <laughs> hell? What? An army of Neos? Oh, they're like reflections, or... Oh well, yeah, it's always been glass theme, so... Wait, <laughs> are they physical? Me, me and the squad are gonna be... Oh, gonna don't tell me that's how them. the Jabberwalker goes out. <laughs> did Ru I did, did, did Neo and while. her ten fucking clones? Alright, so this was a Kiersey episode. Alright. Well, that was great fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There. I mean. Yeah. You know. Okay. I guess Eddie episodes have the uh, the the monologues. Okay. <laughs> and all right, uh, all right. cast. Yeah. All that right, very quickly see. turned from. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting fight. To oh, Neo's just gonna like stomp the shit out of this creature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's uh, th okay. that's weird. I didn't know she could do that. I don't know if it's part of well, the world that what, makes her stronger what? or what. Did they, they say they're... last season that their semblances can like grow and change? Yeah. Yes. They, that was. I think it was seven actually. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah I, whatever. Uh, real uh. quick, three actors play three different roles in this episode. Way to go, them. They, they must, they, the budget for the voice acting must have finally run out. 
I mean, I didn't um, hate it, so no, no, they, I didn't. I liked <laughs> the but, acting this but, episode. Yeah, no, no, I liked it too. I'm not. I, I, let me rephrase that. I did like it, but as I, the curious cat. In return, we did get Robbie Damon, who's a very good actor. So, oh, well, Robbie well, Damon, we, I love him. Yeah, he's great. What do we know him from? Yeah, you might not. He's a uh, he's part of Critical Role. If any of you guys have played yeah, yeah. High Five new- Rush. He was in the new campaign of Critical Role. He was, uh, what, Dorian? Dorian, yeah, I think Yeah, Dorian Storm. Uh, if you guys yeah. have heard of Hi-Fi Rush, it's a, it's a fucking I've awesome beat up oh, game where he plays also, uh, as the new main character. Yeah, and Tales of Hysteria, he's the lead in that. I can't remember that character's he's name. He's also, Saray. you probably know him most from Goro Akechi from Persona 5. Yes, Goro, yeah. Yeah, vaguely. I, I've never yeah, played. He, the, like, I've only played a little bit of Persona. Well, I don't, wonderful I don't, actor. Glad he's getting. Yeah, he, he's he's phenomenal. I'm actually kind of glad they got him for this. The nice. um, it, Brit, since you are the one on the the limited time, would you like any kind of thoughts before you go? I, I think I'd need to watch it again to like get more concrete stuff. But just overall, the first impressions, it was wonderful, delightful. Yeah, like I yeah, said, yeah. I, I'll, I'll repeat what I said before. Like last episode, normally when you have like a oh, all hope is lost thing, you really need a good injection of fun and hope to sort of bring mm-hmm. up the spirits of the of the thing you're watching, whether it's a game or a, a show or anything. And this was yeah. pretty much that. It was just low stakes. Well, at least. Low stakes in the grand scheme of ah. things. Fun. Low because they were small. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the music was great. <laughs> Fighting. They're still was small. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a really good fight. Yes. More teamwork, Ruby, which is fun. To put it very concisely, very quickly, I actually mm-hmm. think this might be stronger than the last episode in consistency. Yeah. I'd watch yeah. this oh. again. Yeah. Yeah, inconsistency but not in peaks. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say higher peaks in the last episode, but this was just consistently okay, this is pretty good all the way through. Like, like yeah. and yeah. Uh, it's it has lingering consequences. We've seen lingering consequences <laughs> from episode to episode now where they're actually it's happening, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. So, if I come up with anything more like interesting to say, um I'll probably talk about it at the beginning of next week. Already, right. yeah. Because sorry, guys, I'm on a bit of a schedule. Uh, oh, yeah. You might want to cut this part out. I don't know, but uh, I will. I will see you guys later. All right, All right. Brit. I'll stop my recording here. <laughs> Bye. Um, see things I like the way this. Uh, well, let's go through I, chronologically. I, I think that'd be just yes. the smartest way to go about it. Right. First thing we see them being led, them having the conversation about the castle and the environment. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, I still think the rendering on these environments is ugly. But I will admit this is probably the best looking environment so far. Yeah, I didn't have too many objections to. I liked to have the to look board. The I like that yeah, tower. The, oh, yeah, the part of the the part yeah the um the tower when they were like going up and they had all the guys like with the trumpets and shit that was yeah. that was awesome looking. Yeah, the, I mean, I made the joke that I missed Whitley, but the prince is actually is a pretty interesting character. He's what I mean, we, especially for a bit. Yeah, yeah, he he's what we yeah. thought that Whitley would be. Yeah, uh, I don't. I, we're probably never going to see him again. I disagree. But... I think we are going to see him again. Um, oh, you think? I, I was he any voice actor that we might know? Uh, no, not that I okay. saw. I saw like what was his name? It was da, 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 da. he's he's got such a distinct appearance, and it's mm-hmm. very clear that he has a vendetta against humans, and we don't know why. Now, a and the well, cr- and, this could be and the cracks. Yeah, and the cracks. Like, yeah. the, 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 the Michael cracks. Malconian's the actor. I'm not familiar with him. What I was going to say about that was he obviously has a vendetta against humans, and so it's kind of it feels like it's setting up like he's going to be a, a sort of a comedic relief villain, a reoccurring comedic relief villain to some extent. Maybe. I feel like he's going to pop up at least one more time as a like surprise. You thought you'd seen the last of me type guy. Um, yeah. I feel like that's uh, going to happen just purely based on his personality. And the length of these episodes, like if if we're visiting like one acre per episode, and that's I'm kind of interested. We learned that the hexagons are called acres. It would make sense to me that like if we only have five or six acres to explore, this guy would appear at least one more time, maybe as part of a whole thing where like they've pissed off all the other acres and they are all coming to attack it. Well, they're they're going they're going what like two for two right now or. Uh, no, they didn't. Well, mm, <laughs> they did piss off. They pissed off uh, Jinxie, didn't they? Yeah, that's the whole mm-hmm. town. 
So this is going to get some like infinity train bullshit on us. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're you're you're going to have different villains. I feel like we're going to see like an entire league of villains in this in this world. And if, oh, that I, would be cool. I, I feel like what we're going to see though is like at the very end, it's like because they're such fairy tale characters and such kind of goofs, it's going to be a a, a sort of like, but you don't really have to do this. Like you like. We're not really the bad guys. No one's really the bad guy, and everyone ends on happy terms. I think the only real bad person is going to be really, like, Neo. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, considering that, like, okay, so this you said this is ten episodes, right? I, yes. I, I don't know. Uh, that's what I've heard, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we have Jinxie. We have the king. We have, like, nine of Neo's henchmen from the intro. Like, we have a lot of characters. Like, yeah. this, we, still, we still haven't seen the knight. Yeah, we still haven't seen the night. Um, we we haven't seen Jean yet. Like you know, we there's there's we're, we're getting into that character bloat range. Um, kind of yeah. No, well, but like I mean, uh, when I it comes to these I characters mean, that don't really ha- need that much depth, it, it's not that concerning to me because like that was a. Nah. Uh, Twilight has uh, whenever we're talking about whenever she she talks about fixing Ruby and how like I approached character bloat. Um, and she, you know, talks to other people online, cr- comments on critiques and the like. She always points out that character bloat isn't the issue. It's, it's, it's them not having anything to do. It's it's them not having anything to do and not properly handling them. Because she points out very frequently, yeah. I, I think she did on your stream uh, where you were making your computer, that like yeah. Digimon has sixteen characters to juggle from episode one or something like. like mm-hmm. Maybe it was like fourteen. I can't remember. No, it's sixteen. Well, no, because uh, Kari comes yeah, later. Yeah, because it's because Kari's later. So the, yeah, it's the seven kids, and then there's seven Digimon, so fourteen. Yeah, fourteen characters. Yeah. But, but like, converse to that is that the seven Digimon that are with them aren't all that complicated characters. They're more or less yeah. blank slates with a little bit of personality thrown in, comparatively mm-hmm. to the main the, the the children who those 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 partners are supposed to reflect. So what they do yeah. is they effectively get more bang for your buck out of fourteen characters. By just kind of repositioning them and utilizing them in different ways. Now, admittedly, Digimon also had a lot more time to work with compared to Ruby, mm-hmm. but all mm-hmm. the same, it, it used that time a lot more wisely than Ruby has in previous years. What I'm seeing here yeah. is the villains, like Jinxie, isn't all that complicated. He's a salesman. The, the prince isn't yeah. all that complicated. He's an angry little uh, short prince guy. <laughs> he's yeah. a scrungly little guy yeah, yeah. It, it's it's really it's really a case of what you see is what you get with this place yeah so that's where i yeah. think it's going to benefit like the character yeah. a character bloat might be in its favor because then you can get some insane things going on where you get these very like one note yeah. personalities suddenly clashing with each other and like <laughs> trying to like like can you imagine jinxie and the, the prince trying to work together to try and get back at the ruby <laughs> girls like that might be interesting. Yeah, you see, I you see where I'm going with this. I think there's potential there for like this really goofy, like slapstick kind of comedic antagonistic force that are going after the girls. <laughs> well, meanwhile, you have Neo over here who's like, "I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill them and kill them all." <laughs> uh, yeah. And me yeah. and my ten um, other selves are going to do it. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about Neo in a bit. I, I have thoughts on Neo, but we'll get there. Yeah. So uh, the girls have been shrunk. Is obviously mm. they're appealing to the fetish crowd now. Well, I mean, well, you know, there was that that leaked. I'm image. not. I'm not worried until they become inflated. <laughs> no, but well, I mean, head <laughs> inflated. Like when she, when she yeah. shrunk, her head got big. Well, well, well there was. That they're leaked, on thin ice. Hold on, there was that leaked go to, go image. Ahead, go ahead. There was that leaked image, uh, like few couple months before the volume premiered of like Ruby walking around with what appeared to be tiny Weiss Blake and Yang in her hood. And I remember, I, I think I retweeted it, and I was just like, what? That, that what wasn't leaked. Kind of... That was um, official promo. But, I believe they... It, right, it was promo. It was promo, they, yeah. they released, like, four images, and I remember that being one of them. And it was like, everyone's like, oh, yeah, they're doing... And, you know, I was worried, like, man, it's going to be a really stupid plot point. I think they yeah. handled this rather well. Yeah, no. I mean, I mean, we saw Yang punch herself in the face. So, I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, that transition that. to like the the plane board when all the 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 trumpeters spin their their glaives and slam them on the ground, and everything goes black around them. That's yeah. a good transition. I like. That. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. There were a lot of really good shots in this episode. Uh, between like the going down the clock, you had the the lights out that we saw, the way the pans around the board, those little subtle movements with the with the, the prince as he's slowly kind of losing his temper, but also I think slowly realizing what's going on with this new these new people in front of him 
the cat in general is just uh, enjoyable. The 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 chase scene. The the uh, cat made me laugh so hard in the in the trailer with yeah, his I, stupid I I sense a but butt coming that, joke. That's totally next episode. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> I, yeah. I, to going back to the character, I think the only two characters we really need to focus any kind of uh like actual focus on are little and the cat because the rest of them can ju- don't ha- don't need that kind of the little i feel like there's more to little than than kind of meets the eye i i, um, I thought that at first no? but the more and more we're watching this the more i'm kind of getting the sense that maybe little like because what you said is it's very much what you see is what you get with this place and right. i'm wondering if little is just like the epitome of that is like it literally oh. is just they wanted to add a cute little psychic character, so they threw in little, and now we have this delightful ball of mouse. And yeah, okay. I, I have no com- like I had so many complaints at first, but now I'm seeing here like I really little, like little, little has little has yeah. endeared herself so quickly in this show. It's actually really kind of cute. I, I want to know who's responsible yeah. for creating little in the sense of like concepting, because yeah. like but in the. <laughs> Usually the commentary tracks are these like nightmare sessions, <laughs> but I think the volume nine commentary is actually going to be like, like a, a rewarding watch. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully we're still, we're only three episodes in. We still got seven more for everything to crash down around us. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is true. But like, what was the last volume that had three good episodes in a row? One. Uh, okay. Let's one, be fair. One had two good episodes Let, in a row. Let's be fair. The first episode, I wouldn't necessarily call Good. I would just call it the f- the first episode. I call it passable of this volume of this. Time? I mean, okay. In fine. terms of Ruby, okay, yeah. fair. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. When I would only in the grand scheme, I'd probably only say there are about three, like, fully good episodes in in Ruby. <laughs> But it, uh, you know what I like but, about this yeah. is this is this is exactly what I've been asking for. What conceptually Ruby should have been from the get go, where it's more like these. Right. It, it, it's not super yeah. serious. Everything yeah. is kind of more fun and lighthearted. It's kind of wacky action sequences. It, it's this is I think what a lot of people wanted Ruby to be from the outset before it got bogged <laughs> down in the more serious storyline. And well, I. This, I, I, I do fixing Ruby. Of course, I love the fucking serious storyline. I, I also, yeah. I also realize I think the serious storyline should have come way later in its lifespan. I think it should have been a lot more hijinks like this early on. We um, we should have had like th- this is what volumes one and two should have been like. Like vo- volume one and two were just completely wasted. Yeah. Well, uh, real quick, uh, because Dash is not here, do you want me to post something in the reaction yes, thing? Yes, please, about please, we can question. take yeah. questions. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep, yep, just did it. But yeah, the... So, the idea of Volume 1 and, and 2 being wasted, Volume 1 and 2 were the training wheels, and I th- I think really it's Volume 3 that I lay the, this at the feet at, because it's the one that transitioned us into the serious storyline permanently. It's like, yeah. Volumes 1 and 2 had a chance to just continue on being, like, kind of goofy hijink stuff and like maybe there's a serious threat out there but it'd be like a an arc threat it wouldn't be like a main series yeah. threat but as time is you know obviously that transitioned in volume three it i i i volume three really was the breaking point where it's like it, it, you want serious ruby or do you want lighthearted ruby that maybe turns serious later that's where volume three diverges and i i, I think they could have yeah. really stuck with the they they goes up with a lighthearted stuff a little bit longer for a couple of more volumes. We didn't need the depression arcs all right away. We needed to understand yeah. these characters. We need to learn them, and learning about them through these goofy hijinks is great. And then yeah. seeing some of their jank animation, like when Blake runs across those glyphs, uh, that was <laughs> yeah. that was weird. I, I, the nice touch I, I kind of mentioned in the episode, but like when Blake's shooting, she runs out of ammo. Yeah, and it's oh, like yeah. I, don't, I can't I can't recall a time where a character has actually run out oh, of ammo shit. like that. She runs out of ammo. Where are yeah. they going to get more? Uh, oh shit! Oh wow! Oh. You got a point there. Sure, oh, she gosh. might be dry yeah. the rest of the volume. <laughs> oh, finally. Uh, okay. Now, now she has a reason for being useless. <laughs> All right. So I have, I have a minor complaint here. All right. So. Uh, Weiss summons her her angel wings, all right? And I know that was teased in Volume 8, and we obviously knew that going into fixing Volume 5. 
-hmm. However, what was not a part of that was the shooting of the quills out of the angel, <laughs> uh, the angel wings, which is something that we explicitly did extrapolating <laughs> from the wings in volume eight. Uh. I see you animators. <laughs> I see you. Now I'm not, I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm going to try and not be, have an ego about this. It's very possible. <laughs> it's very possible. They had this idea first. They and had it makes that some idea sense. independently. It makes some sense, but, yeah. but, only in fixing <laughs> Ruby did Weiss ever kill a Nevermore. <laughs> I just, she helped kill the first one, all right? I, oh, she, guess, she got the assist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, all right, look, look. It's a good idea. I'm glad you guys finally used it. Thank you. Yeah. I, I hope it comes yeah. up later because I think it could be even more awesome because that's, I love that image of Weiss. Noel's art is still better though. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> no, I do like uh, it. Yeah, Just you know, saying. we do mean it when we say all of these ideas are for you guys. Like, <laughs> please take our ideas. Yes. Like, I, uh, people don't understand. I wouldn't be making Fixing Ruby if it weren't my own critique of the show and seeing them do things that I have done makes me happy it makes me happy to see that they hey maybe they maybe someone on the team took my advice and put this forward and said hey we could have weiss do this and they're like hey that sounds really cool let's do that i i'm just happy that maybe i'm having an effect on the show in a positive way and i that <laughs> that brings warmth to my heart <laughs> um, it, um I, so... I'm just being facetious about being angry about it. I, I'm just putting up a yeah. gag, everyone. <laughs> Let you know that. Um. So yeah, the music. Uh, fi finally something different. Yeah. Like we've had, I, we've well, had okay. Jazzy, I mean, you say jazzy. that was. Di we've had jazzy before. Like I'm not saying we haven't had the jazzy in before. the tournament. Yeah. Right. But well, I'm glad like, they're back to it. But it's 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 jazzy without that underlying tone of like butt metal that Jeff is famous for. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it, it's pure jazz this time, yeah. and like it just it feels so refreshing. It's like jazz and bass, but yeah. Yeah. Which I I I, yeah. I thought uh -huh. was I don't I couldn't I didn't understand a damn thing about the lyrics. I didn't hear them, but uh, I didn't I, hear them. I, 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 they were sound. Listen, to me. I never I never. I, I'll be honest. I never really listen to the, the music for the lyrics. I just kind of listen for the the. the rock. Oh God! Soul unless it's the is slower. Just gonna die when he hears you. Unless it's the <laughs> slower songs. Unless it's the slower songs, in which case the lyrics are kind of what you need to listen to. But like as far as the heavy rock songs, I'm there for the rock. Uh, yeah. Mm. You know, I as, as much as um like. I'm glad that Jeff is sitting this volume out. I hope Lamar is still on this track or on this soundtrack. <laughs> oh, he hasn't missed one yet, has he? No, I don't think so. But yeah, like, so I don't know if well, he's a, well, like you know Jeff Jeff's comrade or if well, he's I, a Rooster Teeth. I, uh, well, it's interesting because they keep talking. They talk about Jeff as like he's retired. So I don't think he's. I think he's just done. I don't think he's. I don't think he's making any more music for the show. Yeah, I, I think he, then again, I, think he's, I said I was retired, and here I am. So I, I you know, can't not see for the final season them dragging Jeff back in for one more song. I could see that. Yeah, for the for the final season, the final season. Uh, yeah, uh, I um, mean, yeah. Uh, okay, I mean, yeah. it, the, for the final season, they should probably also get Nico back. Like, <laughs> I know he never made any Ruby music, but like, does he still do RVB music? I don't know. I'd... <laughs> I have no idea. Regardless, <laughs> uh, a big complaint that I want to have about the episode, um, not want mm -hmm. to have, but I do have about the episode. This chess game, I, I know it's Wonderland logic, but they laid out the rules and they didn't really adhere to them at all from at the get-go. Yeah, not like, even you, you look not there, even a little. Ruby says, hey, Weiss, move forward. And you can clearly see there are three spaces she needs to move before she conflicts with the first knight. Yeah. yeah. No, like, and even at best, if she just... wouldn't move diagonally, she would have to move two spaces. And it's like, but you can only move one. Why are you, why, why? I mean, I get maybe condensing for time, but it just annoys me. Yeah. yeah. Me, me and the wife binged uh, Queen's Gambit in like a day and a half. <laughs> and so that's, uh, oh, we're saying like, no, no. It's, chess isn't a hard game. Like, oh, wait, chess is a, a very difficult mind game, but it's, the rules are not hard to learn. 
Yeah. So like it, it's you can you can easily make a game of just pure yeah. chess. You're a king. And you like, have a shotgun, and you're trying to kill all the other things <laughs> on the board. I mean, yeah. I, I sorry that's I, chess. I know, with, that's I made, chess with a shotgun. My bad. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Created by Hobo with a shotgun. Um. No, but I made the it was like it was um chess mixed with like like backgammon or go or one of those kind of games where it was like your object is to like just get to the other side it because chess is about getting the king it's not yeah yeah it does, it's not yeah it, it's not it's but, not about it's like it almost like risk it's more, like more so than chess yeah yeah, yeah. i would say it's more like, or checkers yeah i would say it's more like checkers yeah. or um chinese chess isn't it maybe mm, well yeah actually yeah chinese checkers is where you chinese try checkers, to get your it. pieces into your opponent's starting zone yes yeah um so yeah it, it's got it's got kind of that energy to it <clears throat> more so than like I, actual like chess energy. but having you know been a being a fan of no game no life and where they <laughs> are meticulous about the games in that show like oh, that was yeah. one i never got around to that is such a, it's it's a good, weird though. show because you got like this kind of weird like uh sibling complex thing going on but Mm. I, yeah, but if you watch anime, <laughs> well, no, this is like this is like taking you it. No, what's up? It's it, it it is it goes really hard on that. Yeah, it goes really hard on that. But all, all the same, it's yeah. like it, it's just funny. It's a really fun, funny show. I highly recommend yeah. it. Just be prepared for weirdness okay. when you go into it. But like they they oh, really really do. pay attention to like the, the 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 logistics of the games. So seeing it like why scoots over several spaces here it's like okay and, and it devolves into a free-for-all it's why i'm more okay yes. with it than i'm not it's just i mean it, it they, didn't like it didn't send me into a feral rage yeah uh yeah. it was just kind of one of those things just like what why did we even have it sent me into a colin then? feral rage it's a little more understated <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it involves it uh. involves la rata <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that was that was my that was probably actually my biggest complaint of the episode was them just not playing, not by following the rules. The yeah. Rules. yeah. yeah. Uh, also, Penny's sword is just gone. I just realized that. Yeah, like what the like what the hell? You think you John's think gonna, gonna find it? Oh, maybe. <laughs> that, mm. that actually that would be great is if like our our heroes get through the rest of this story and then John catches up at the very end. It's like. Where the hell were with you all guys? the weapons? You know, and he's like, the, well, the thing is, like, the, he's actually gone, followed them, like, beat for beat through their path. But he's, like, <laughs> come across, like, the worst possible luck the entire time. Or maybe uh, the best possible luck. Like, you could go either direction with it. Where, like, the girls have struggled. He's had, like, a breeze getting through. Everyone's just let him have right of way. <laughs> no, I, okay, here, here's kind of what I want. I want John to show up in, like, episode seven or something. After Team Ruby have, like, caused a havoc in, like, all of these acres. <laughs> and, um... Then when John, John finally shows up, like he finally like catches up to them and then he explains what he went through and he like, you know, he, he, he calms down, uh, Jinxie and he like gives him a bunch of rare stuff and he, and he makes the king feel all, all good about himself. And he goes and he like solves all of the problems uh, that <laughs> R Team Ruby causes. <laughs> like they're gonna, they're gonna like, um, kill the Jabberwalker in episode six and then uh, and the, john's, john's last um uh thing is like him like befriending it and sending it on its way <laughs> like i think that would yeah. be really cool uh the only thing is i don't know if neo just took out the jab walker there oh uh, yeah, yeah maybe maybe it ran away i don't know oh one thing about neo do you think those those people are like her ocs you know those like yes, shadowy I, figures I, that I, she's I'm, hanging out I'm with. I'm suspecting that that she it's more yeah. or less her her a cabal of her, me myself and I. Um, <laughs> yeah, but we'll, we'll get to that in just a minute because I do want to make yeah. one last uh, point about the castle because I liked the chase scene going through the uh -huh. the Escher esque reality. I just yeah. I kind of wish that like shows would use that for more than just a chase sequence because that's like the stereotypical way of going about using Escher esque. Uh, topography yeah like sure. it would be fun to spend some time here where like characters are having a casual chat between different like planes <laughs> yeah. like real you know, rubies on the yeah. ceiling and talking to weiss like i i understand it's like we're kind of getting on to the next section but I, I wish we had a little more time in the the, the goofiness of this place it, it would be nice to uh do something like that hmm. but you know hey whatever 
Um, <laughs> now all- it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be from the um, you know the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Now on to my my main thing with Neo is is her semblance evolving in a way that it's physically manifesting like matter. Now? I think it always physically manifested. It was just glass that could be easily broken. Yeah. So now is it like actually harder harder did she like get plexiglass did she <laughs> it might be i mean it might be an, uh, just an effect of this realm that she's landed in yeah does ever is everybody else's semblance also being boosted or well, is that like well that's the weird thing because like uh, ruby did the uh, super until this episode but she's always yeah. been able to do that. she did even yeah, actually she's been able first... to do that since volume seven whatever yeah. <clears throat> actually this is the first time the girls have used their symbols is so far this volume yeah uh, yeah i mean la- i remember last episode we were like can they even like yeah we, d- we didn't know it's, it's it's looking like it's looking like the semblances do still work that's, that's got the evil good. looking bridge which i actually i like the touch of this bridge and how it's balanced where you have like the end oh i, I want to talk about the bridge yeah because it's got a nice little yin and yang thing going here you got the angelic, the, the the hell side has the angelic gate and like very nice appearance, while the the nice pretty <laughs> side has the the dark little uh, stretch going on. Yeah, I wonder yeah, if, I re- I, I, yeah. It, it, it's such a simple design, but I really dig it. Yeah, and I'm wondering if we're going to like get more about how these acres are set up because it's obviously there's a I bridge w- between acres. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to no. Okay, here's how they deal with Neo. They push her off the uh, like the bridge into this gap between them, and she falls down and ends up in another even deeper level of fairy tale. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, what if that's like the entire time you just had to fall off one of these cliffs and you just arrive back in the real world? Uh, oh, it's like this. No, it's like the Simpsons thing. She's gonna land in in like the real world. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna be like oh, you yeah, know yeah, like yeah. it's gonna be you know remember rvb 14 when they did the live action sketch unfortunately uh, yes <laughs> she's gonna land in that sorry who's the singer for the main series uh for the series casey casey it, it, casey. it's gonna be yeah. casey cosplaying that's neo <laughs> <laughs> like she's gonna wake up like, like oh she's she, neo then went on to have a successful singing career <laughs> i hope they do something that goofy she's cos- you know i i was saying they're leaning into the fetish stuff but this line of neos is, is, just keeps telling me they are like i i <laughs> just gonna see a bunch of neos standing behind a couch with roman on it no, dude, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, thank you. Oh. Yes, that's totally it. <laughs> oh, oh, I, okay, I kind of remember one point I wanted to bring up. So the whole time with the prince, we, we were like, you know, we get little glimpses of what the king would be here if it wasn't for something that yeah, allegedly humans, happened. Yeah, right. Right. So I'm, what, I'm wondering if... Like in the actual, well, there, you know, the fairy tale, and then what, maybe what actually happened in this land of, you know, Wonder World, that Alex may have accidentally killed the king, or on purpose, and then she oh, got out and purpose, wrote the yeah. story and wrote the story to make herself look better. Because <laughs> there is no physical, there is no version of the story that we actually know of that we can actually read. Right? Isn't there? Well, I mean, we don't know it, but I thought I thought like people, the characters know it. No, I know. I no, I mean real life people. I thought they like read the fairy tale book. No, oh, it's not. Yeah, it's, it, in the it's, book. it's uh, not in the book. I don't think. Oh, it's not in the book. Yeah. I, I, then I how did everybody it. know about it before episode two? Um, maybe. Well, because of Oscar's story, didn't Oscar describe it? I uh, I, don't I, I don't what I don't remember. I don't remember. That, that that was when like like he was he was. Rem- <laughs> it's like the one moment where we get characterization for Oscar in volume eight, where he's been having he had the shit kicked out of him, and he's talking to 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 Osman about his favorite fairy tale. Oh, that's a, yeah. Um, but it's, it's kind of like the thing I, t- I mentioned, like sci-fi's Alice, like one of the, lo- one of the first lines that Hatter does is the last time someone with your name fell to this world, she brought down the whole house of cards and like a- acknowledging the original story. while also like, this is, this is not the, the story that you're familiar with. So, uh, the girl, fell- in the episode Witch, Oscar and Osman discuss the, the fairy tale of the girl who fell through the world. From what was revealed in the episode, the story is of a girl who fell through Remnant and found herself in a brand new world. But upon her return to Remnant, she was saddened. It is commented on by Ospin that she wasn't the same girl anymore, implying the journey changed her. In Ruby, uh, in Ruby Roman Holiday, it was revealed that the, uh, this girl was named Alex. So that's why people know who... Oh, mentioned it in Roman Holiday. Okay, okay I'd have to read that again. Uh, the fairy tale likely alludes to the real world fairy tale of Alice in Wonderland. No, really. 
<laughs> uh, but um, yeah, so I think we're I think we're gonna. It's hinting towards something that maybe Alex is viewed as the bad guy in this world, or maybe she's not, she never even left. So I don't know. Yeah, but um, I, I kind of want her to have never left, even though I kind of want her to have never left too. Yeah, like somebody e- evil from this world, like got out instead of her, or like she is. Like, le- she left someone behind. Like, there were two people who fell down. The, and, the twist uh, is, like, Alex it, is actually it, Salem. Sus. <laughs> there. Oh, yeah. Uh, sa- all right. Okay. All right, whatever. And that's why her father kept the her the locked up the in the tower. <laughs> <laughs> you fell through the world once. You're not <laughs> falling I'm down not it again. I'm not let you do it again. <laughs> uh, all right. Do we have... Anything else more to comment on? I think we've touched on everything. Uh, that that was all I had. Comparatively yeah. light episode, but an enjoyable one. Yeah. Well, I mean, you say that, but, like, compared to what? <laughs> like, <laughs> other Ruby episodes? Well, other Ruby episodes where we're sitting there and we're like, okay, this doesn't make any sense. we got to break this down for yeah. the next half hour. Like... It- yeah, yeah. <laughs> like light in terms of workload we didn't have to do much this episode we had to be like yeah this yeah. is great we just had to sit here and like it <laughs> uh okay what what want to want to read uh, off questions right sure right that that should be important i completely forgot we could do that oh no tom doesn't have the at everyone power anymore he's no longer admin yeah yeah, yeah it's whatever uh <laughs> okay yeah just type at and then every single name of everyone in our discord server which you can join from one to other more to I, any of yeah, our Patreons. All, like all 200 something of them yeah sure <laughs> all right uh at uh, rick's art said if neo is anything to go by do you think the entire cast is getting a semblance upgrade due to ever after for example yang getting a berserker form you know they've been, i feel like they've been teasing that for like the last two volumes i mean they've been like, ex- they, they've been explicitly stating that the last two volumes that everyone's yeah. semblances have yeah. evolved over time but it yeah. would be weird if, like, they they say, like, because, like, when they're like, oh, your semblance can grow and evolve. And then it's like they have to be sent to this magical world to actually get an upgrade. Like, I mean, that's something that a lot of people were positing since volume eight ended. So I would be amazed if they didn't. Well, with Ren's, like, awful, terrible semblance upgrade. <laughs> His counselor Troy ass semblance. His- his I read the script semblance. But I was going to say, like, with Yang, I don't want Yang to get a Berserker form. I would rather the semblances evolve in interesting new ways. Like, for as much shit as we give Ruby being able to phase through matter, that's at least an interesting side grade to her semblance. Yeah. Ren being able to see emotions and- is honestly one of the most worthless fucking uh, semblances in the series. <laughs> it also runs opposite of how his semblance works. Yeah. <laughs> his, se- his semblance is all about compressing the emotions. But at the very least in it that, shows yeah. them wanting to do more interesting things than just yeah. strictly yeah. more powerful semblance. Yeah. He- Hero- Heroes got worse as the show went on, but one of the really cool things they did was showing how Matt Parkman's mind reading kind of evolved over the course of the show. Uh, where it went from just him hearing thoughts to him being able to put thoughts in other people's heads. Man, I hate what they did to Matt. Matt got done dirty in that uh, show. I hate, I hate what they did to everyone. Damn writer strike. Uh, oh, God, it never Pay your writers, goddammit. Pay your writers. We've all seen what happens when they strike. No one wants to go through that again. No. <laughs> Young God Kaiser no. asks, uh, what do you think of the scene of <clears throat> Penny's sword getting thrown away? Do you think we'll see it back? No, I think it's gone. I hope we do. No, I, I mean, I said do, what I, I think. Don't... Yeah, I hope we do. I I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't. Yeah. If it shows up in some other way than Jean like collecting the shit they leave behind, then then I don't want to see it, but I want John to like <laughs> be like the, the junk dealer. <laughs> John's John's going to have his own mouse companion. <laughs> It'll be the one. It'll be the one with the eye scar. The, It'll be the yeah, one with, with the, the scar. scar. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be bloodthirsty. Well, he has to um, keep calming it down. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of no. If we don't see it again, then I kind of hope it kind of leads to Ruby's gradual deterioration, where the one relic she had of pennies is now gone. Yeah. So <laughs> until she finds the whole penny body and starts dragging that along with her. <laughs> what? What? What are the odds you think we're actually gonna stumble upon her? Her at this point probably. Uh, bird eaten corpse because <laughs> it's not a robot anymore it'll decay yeah, exactly yeah exactly <laughs> yeah um i 
I want them to, but I don't. Ex- <laughs> I don't think they will. I don't think they if will they either. do, it'll be like an automatic ten points to that episode. <laughs> or watch what, or, or watch it, it. They take a note out of Bioshock Evidence book where, like, in the beginning of the game, you have like the two people who are like tied up to like throw tomatoes at them. Uh, they do, but, but instead of that, it's like a raccoon's brother strings up all the bodies that fell into the ever after from the explosion. <laughs> Including pennies. <laughs> That's morbid as hell, but uh, it just came to mind. Because it, it, it would please all the people who were like, well, where are the bodies? I mean, we, we don't need to see the bodies, but, you know, if we did, that'd be an interesting way to do it. But yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm the opinion, uh, I don't think we're going to see the sword back. Uh, I, 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 yeah. I feel like it, it, it's gone, and I, I do like the idea of it deteriorating Ruby's, um, mental well-being yeah i'd like to see it back i would not be surprised and it wouldn't bother me if we did ace triad asks what do you think of the cinematography this episode strong i thought it was great yeah i love yeah it. you know good yeah the way the cam- the way the camera moved the like the 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 downwards of the the tower the the shots of the chessboard the, the the chase uh but yeah all of that stuff just like it was just really well shot actually i'm kind of curious as to i gotta go back and look at who directed this episode yeah this was uh it was directed by connor and dustin okay Okay. dustin's been dustin's been with the company for fucking ever and connor's been last few volumes yeah dustin was definitely in the first in since the first volume of ruby yeah yeah of course none of them are with the the volume the show anymore but you know really well no didn't they they got rid of everybody didn't they except for the writers wow yeah, because I, I know. Well, I know the Mal, people whose fault it is. <laughs> well, I well I know Mel, Mel, who went from like being the like the super leading producer on Volume she, Eight. She did the gun truck fight in season in Volume Five. No, right? no, no, that was um, that was uh, fucking what's her name? That was that wasn't that wasn't her. That was that the one that moved on to Genlock. Yeah, and then Damn, and then know. she she still got fired. Oh God, we're talking about Genlock. What the fuck yeah. happened? No, so so, so we're, we're you talking... left and it all fell apart. <laughs> so so wait, what, what we're talking about? Is we were talking the... about the directors and um. Yeah, so we had how... Connor and Connor and Dustin, Dustin who had been with the company for a number of years, and then that segued into all the animators that got laid off. Um, and then I was talking about Mel, who was the the. I think she was like the lead on volume eight lead and anim- lead animator. That's what it was. She was lead animator of volume eight. And then she got downgraded to like part-time or whatever. And then got the boot. Like all the others did. Damn. Like they, they got booted from like regular employees to contract employees. And then all the contracts were terminated, which was like uh, ridiculous. Yeah. But, that's, I mean, they don't, that's... I mean, they, their output of animated shows is nowhere near the, the level it was before. So, all right. Uh, Looney Goon asks, "What do you think Ruby's favorite dessert is? We must. It's it's strawberries. Cookies. No, it's strawberries. Cookies. We know this. This was confirmed in a Q and A panel back in like volume one or two. Her favorite. Her favorite treat is oh. strawberries. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. I, feel, right. I would have figured cookies. Yeah, okay. Everyone figures <laughs> cookies, and that that was like the uh, mis, that was the misnomer that like they had to dispel. Is like, no, she loves cookies, but like strawberries are her jam. Um. <laughs> And yet the joke is we always see her with cookies, and I don't think I've ever seen her with strawberries. I, yeah, I did not. Cinder was the one who had, ate strawberries. Yeah, no, but like, like I, 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 look, I'm just reporting what I've been told. <laughs> like this, this word okay. of God. No, no, I'm not. We're not. We're not <laughs> blaming you. It's just, it's just weird logic. Yeah, it's more proof that Cinder and Ruby are the same character. In Saint Oddball, how does it feel knowing the burden of being comic relief lies squarely on Weiss's shoulders? It's hard get someone to blame so so here's the thing like somebody's been bring, people have been bringing up on twitter that weiss has been gradually becoming more goofy over the years not really and, think about her in volume yeah. two when she was doing that weird like oh the we're friends thing, yeah. now thing when she was like standing yeah, chair on the chair thing. right right like right. that was one of the earliest weiss scenes yeah yeah like she's she's had moments of goofiness but the the difference now is that it's so like in your face and consistent and like consistent that it's just it's really hard to like it, 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 it's it's very jarring was but. was go to your room supposed to be funny i think it I was think so. actually y- yeah oh, maybe that's like the worst part of volume seven god don't <laughs> remind me about that wait that was, i thought that was eight 
Oh yeah, that was eight. Whatever. Yeah. I don't. The the, the volume of, seven and volume eight bleed together so much for me. Well, they're right on top of each other, so yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Ashbarian asks, if Neo landed in the realm of darkness, do you think that John will land or landed in the realm of light? I don't know what that place is. I th- John, John probably landed in the realm of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, honest to God, one of the big worries I had after volume eight was that. Jean was going to land in like some hallucination where all the girls were going to want him. I was going to say, he's landed in a park and now he has like two girls flanking him like the freaking robots yeah. from Metallica. And the, the worst part is, I wouldn't put it past the writers to do that. That's why I was scared. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, honestly, I think if anything, I think Jean would also land in darkness because I think Jean's going to go through some... If we ever meet up with him uh, when that happens, he's going to go through some shit himself. Yeah. Um, at least that's what I'm hoping. Elysian Empire asks, do you think the chess scene is going to be used as foreshadowing? In what way? Yeah, that's, it, 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 that's like Someone broad. explains the rules, and then they break the rules, it, and then there's just yeah. a big punch-up where they... No, it's not foreshadowing. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it would be foreshadowing if they were actually consistent with how the game is played. Or if there were actual, like, con- like maybe the thing is, like... Maybe it is in some way, like, allegorical of, like, how they're going to handle everything going forward. It's like, they're going to try and play by the rules that the fact that they're good at playing by the rules will upset the world, like, whoever they're talking to, and the other person will throw the table. Like, that, that maybe that'll be a consistent thing that happens where it's like, they actually try to play by the rules. They're not supposed to be good at the rules, but they are good at the rules, and the world doesn't like that. So... And same thing happened with Jinxie, right? Yes, I, I think so. Um, no, kind of the opposite thing happened with Jinxie because they didn't. They they were trying to play by the rules, and then they just gave up, and then they and then they yeah. caused a ruckus. And then here they tried to play by the rules, and they were good at it. They were better than they expected, and then that they caused did a ruckus. play by the rules in Jinxie's uh, place. Well, yeah, except for Yang. Yang did. Oh, yeah. But, like, remember what, remember <laughs> yeah, what Yang Little didn't. said? But Little is just like, if he's not looking at it, we can take exactly. it. Exactly. Like, yeah. Like, uh, okay. That that yeah. was playing by the rules. Yeah, Little was kind of the, the factor in that one. So, like, that's where apart. maybe you're right. Maybe there is something there to be like, okay, we're seeing a consistent, like, pattern of they come in, they play by the rules, the the rules. And then they cause a punch and up. And then they cause a punch up. And then when the, and when the rules don't benefit them. Yeah. That yeah, uh, the, the rules are fucking made by the ruling class. You're not yeah, supposed to. It, it, that, that also seems to recur things like when the rules stop benefiting the person. Yeah, that their, might be the consistent either window. side. Then it just flies out the window. Commissar Garcia asks, how do you think John will be brainwashed? And we're presuming that he's going to be brainwashed. We don't know if he's going to be brainwashed. I don't think he's going to be brainwashed. I really want him to just be like a source of a source of light and positivity washing through this um this <laughs> this land of make believe. Unfortunately, like, the man just murdered I a think, friend. I, I so just, I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. I think I think it's just going to be like that uh going back to Digimon analogy towards the end of season 1 there was that tunnel that Matt and Sora were kind of both stuck in uh where they just their depression just overwhelmed them so much. I'm kind of hoping it's like God. One of those that situations. show is filled with fucking eldritch horrors when you really think about it. <laughs> oh, Digimon was the best, and I will die like, on that like, hill. I mean, for everyone's the rest like, of "Oh man, the Pokemon games, sure, whatever." Digimon's anime, <laughs> the first season of, of yes. uh, the Digimon anime was superb. Oh, well, that's not discount Tamers. Oh yeah, Tamers, Tamers is, is... Yeah, Tamer, but like, oh. I, I'm just, I, I, I highlight the first because like it's yeah. its own continuity, yes. and we can ignore zero two. Yeah. And I don't even know. I don't even really want to just. Do you want to trust zero me? You want to discount zero two. Zero no no zero two has always held a special place in my heart. So it as stupid favors. as it is, I rest my argument. See, even anyway, there. <laughs> cut, cut this end with like uh, the you know the the Simpson scene where Homer's like no. I've already I've already done a I've already done a couple podcasts about zero two and why I actually am a lot more favorable on it than most people. So. The Digicast exists. Go listen to it. You can find it on iTunes. Yada, yada, yada. Let's keep going. <laughs> Scott Wolf 14. Weird one, but has the music improved, do you think? I think it's... Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. so. I mean, okay, it's improved yeah. from like six, seven, eight, 
but like you know the the golden yeah. age of like volumes one and two are, are still probably better than this. This is moving in the right direction back towards them. As much as I enjoy you know the the butt metal, it Williams's music has progressive. The albums have progressively gotten worse yeah. since like like like, like seven but- had my like w- worst song on it, and then. Every track on Volume Eight was like worse than War. Volume Eight's terrible. It, it, volume Eight's it's terrible. It's so it. bad, and I'm so glad that he's not doing it anymore. But yeah, like this is back up to like the levels of I three or four. Loved Volume. I love Volume Four soundtrack, both Williams' music and orchestral score. Volume Five, I didn't like the orchestral score, and Volume Six, I kind of just like this is okay, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Seven, I'm like, eh, and eight is just. I don't think I don't even think having Jeff cared some about money, some behind exactly. the scenes knowledge. I I know that Jeff was being like run through the ringer. Oh yeah, no, I've 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 heard plenty of stuff about the relationship of the Williams with Rooster Teeth over the years. It, 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 um, I I I feel so from, bad for the guy. I'm I'm hoping he's getting good rest. The man needs it. Yeah, yeah. They seri- they seriously took him for granted the whole time. They, they were expecting him to be the Beatles, where they released five albums in 36 months. Like, that's not feasible <laughs> for most performers. Yeah. Yeah. I, they, there was, there, it's, oh, there's there been a lot of tersons over the years, and I even got that from the, the horse's mouth, where Jeff, I, so, after my first RTX, uh, Jeff Williams, who lives in my state, was actually on my plane home. And oh, nice. he, we were, we were kind of waiting in baggage claim together. And we just got to talking a little bit. And he was like, I was kind of, why you guys didn't do a concert? He's just like, yeah, yeah, things just didn't work out. And it was like that tone of like, it, it was a sore spot. Mm-hmm. I could kind of, I kind of got that vibe. So I think, I think things have always kind of been a little, little tense. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, in one way or another. Uh, and finally, Bree asks, uh, how do you guys think they have handled <laughs> Bumblebee so far this volume? Fine. Um, it's it's it's, yeah, it's confirming yeah, yeah. it to some extent at this point. <laughs> yeah, Finally. I'm really glad they had someone acknowledge it externally. Um, yeah, but th- like my problem with Bumblebee isn't necessarily the the interactions that they've had since like Volume Six, right? Yeah. Like I actually l- like that if that was the relationship, like you know, um. That would that would be a half decent relationship, but my my problem is all of the bad. And I don't I don't even want to call it bad writing. I just want to say that it is a bad relationship from like volume one on, like from like from like one to five. That should not have turned into a relationship. Like that should turn into like like some sort of toxic horrible thing that just ended up hurting everyone involved but it turned into a, a you know it like a good relationship that has because been because of like, you know the volume <laughs> six seven and eight st- i mean I, that's that's fine it's also self-defense yeah yeah no no i i, I <laughs> yeah. joke i'm being facetious <laughs> yeah yeah like you, in the reaction to the last episode you called it homicide and i was gonna be like it wasn't murder and i'm like wait homicide isn't murder yeah homicide it's, isn't murder. like <laughs> yeah it's like no yeah it's self-defense <laughs> you you're allowed to kill someone who's trying to kill you <laughs> in in some states <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right well uh, do we have anything more of note to go over? Oh yeah. Um, I, as far as Bumblebee goes, I I think it's fine. I think the little the, the almost hand touch was actually really kind of cute. Yeah. It was also like, something kind of a little different compared to like the the goofy. Oh hey, you're you're actually you're not that bad looking kind of shit that they've been doing. Um, I th- I thought it, I thought it was like the 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 moment they had this volume was kind of like okay. The, I always hold that course, I think the strongest but... Bumblebee moment in Volume Seven and Eight was the moment. I I know the conversation itself was like jank, but the conversation they had about whether or not what to do with Robin that was more real to me about Bumblebee than anything else in this series at this rate because it was too. It was two characters talking about their feelings. They were actually like confiding yeah, in one another, yeah. and they were. Yeah. And you can talk about how their logic made no fucking sense whatsoever, <laughs> but like the fact that they were trying to work things out together, and they were doing it in this very close yeah. and intimate way, that spoke way more to me about Bumblebee than any like dance shuffle they were doing and going out to a party together. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, the moments when they're serious are, like, the best moments. Because, like, vo- that scene, the classroom and scene in Volume 2 is still one of my all-time favorite Ruby moments. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good scene. Like, it's a really good scene, yeah. yeah. But it should have led, you know, or, or it did lead, unintentionally as it was, to Blake doing, like, a really shitty thing to Yang, which mm. didn't... Which didn't evolve correctly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It mutated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, all that's right. all I got. Well, I want to thank everyone for watching. We had a good time. This was a good time. I am two good episodes in a row. Right. I, I have been just astounded by this volume so far. So, like, I... Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I, I, so thank you all so much for watching. Remember, support us down at our Patreons. I know Dashi wasn't here, but she does regular streams every single Saturday night with uh, Ab- Absolute Unit or Tunkatsu Sinclair, whoever's in the mood that, that week. <laughs> whoever's available. Yes. Uh, and uh, remember, Fixing Ruby is still going on on this channel. Uh, it's uh, been episode 10 this week. Hopefully I won't go crazy from editing both this reaction and that this week, but we'll see. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, buy our books. Oh, yep. That's right. Buy our books. Our books are available. Buy our uh, books. Tom uh, everywhere. I'm me, still, I'm still... only on Amazon and digital in print. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, actually, the, the book just got picked up on, uh, pub- like, was it Palace Marketplace or something? So there's another location nice. for you if you go there. Um, although they have it under a different Thomas Horan, so yeah, I need to I'm fix that. on Goodreads. But, they have the uh, wrong Raymond McNeil credited on yeah. Goodreads for both oh, my don't, books. Don't even. Uh oh. <laughs> don't, don't even get me started on the Goodreads shit because that's driving me crazy. I'm trying to get my book under my name. And, <laughs> uh, it's driving me crazy. Uh, still working on Skin and Rank review. I'll try. I'll try. You know, I'll try oh, to work on that a little this weekend if I have time. I've watched Skin and Rank. Uh, I have a lot to say on it from somebody who suffered those exact same kind of night terrors as a kid. Oh. Um, Damn. So, yeah. So it's Alrighty. it's gonna be a good time. Fat man might have the reaction for volume for episode two <laughs> out by the time I get this. End. I, I have a much no. It'll yeah. it'll it'll be off. It'll be, uh, even if I have to, even if I have to render it in small chunks and then stitch it together on the other computer. Uh, Just a friendly off. reminder: I take all the odd episodes. Fat man takes all the even episodes. This is actually kind of a flip from what we normally do, but just because how things worked out. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, if you want to see the odd episode reactions, my channel. If you want to see the even <laughs> episode reactions, Fatman's channel. You can't make it more simple than that. Yes. Um, yes. Although every third one will also be just on... Just follow us it'll on... It'll be on Brits <laughs> OnlyFans. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah. Just follow us on Twitter. We retweet all of the all the links. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, uh... Skin a meringue. Count to four. Skin a meringue. Then three more. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, uh and yeah thank you all so much for watching a shout out to all of my lovely patrons and we'll catch you all on the flip side bye 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 <laughs>